It was Sunday morning. My father had just gotten off work. Overtime shift, family room, pink box of donuts. My father's blue work shirt that put them on the table. Exhausted but happy, spending time with the family, his arms on the table, muscular, sweaty, heavy, hairy arms, a bratty, stunning nosed child. I looked across the table and told him, you looked like a gorilla. It wasn't just the words, it was the cock of the head, the wrinkling of the nose, the arc of the eyebrow. It wasn't just the words, it was the sneer tucked inside of them. You look like a gorilla. Who was this stranger who lived in my house, spent hours tinkering in the garage and lumbering out in the yard, yelled to rake up the leaves, pick up the dog who mow the lawn, left before I went to school, left in the middle of the night, oftentimes returned the same, always wearing that blue or orange uniform, always tired all those days, prone to anger, big, Heaven, work boots, clonking and clomping throughout the house. Sometimes he was covered in dirt, his hair uncombed and wild, work shirt unbuttoned, chest hair out, hairy arms like gorilla sleeves. Who was a stranger? He was my dad, my father. You look like a gorilla. It wasn't just the words. It was the inflection, it was my reflection, it was the teachers, the guest lecturers, the people on television, the parents of my friends. No one had ever told me that I should want to be like my father, blue collar, work with your hands, muscular, sweaty, heavy, hairy arms. He used them to clean ditches, build pipe systems, to cut down trees, to clear fields and embankments every day. For us, you look like a gorilla there was hate there, disgust there, dehumanization, like how creationists can find nothing more filthy than to say that humans are descended from monkeys, it's chimpanzees, like how racists call Mexicans cockroaches, cattle when they hear la cucaracha, the Nazis call the Jews rats, blacks were depicted for decades as more ape than homo sapien, my brother commented on how they treated him at work. They treat me like their workhorse, a beast of burden. This was his first admission. This was racism. They treated him like a Mexican, and he hated it. My father was as stubborn as a bull, as strong as an ox, muscular, sweaty, heavy, hairy, Gorilla arms, the arms that built our house, the arms that hugged my mother, they carried me as a child. I looked at those arms that Sunday morning and told him, you look like a gorilla. Everything stopped. Everyone was shocked. Soon there was shouting, screaming. I ran, crying, out of the house and into the backyard. You looked like a gorilla. I will regret seeing that for the rest of my life.